It's a beautiful evening in Inchicore as St. Pat's take on Drogheda. It's a huge evening as well because if St. Pat's win, they will go second and they'll be just three points behind Shamrock Rovers. This is their game in hand. To get this evening to the feet of Lonergan. Lonergan, he's so trickery, isn't he? Ooh. Did that come off the hand of Evan Weir? Well, I think if we had VAR, we'd be going to it. Yeah. Curtis. He's got as much craft as he does speed. That's a very tidy ball to McClellan. Back to Curtis. Curtis whips in the cross. Oh, Doyle is unlucky. Not sure if he got much on it. Great cross. Yeah, Curtis is really well in the 1v1 situation. Gets it back to him here. You know he's going to whip it in this time on his left foot. Shows good technical ability to use both feet. Mark Doyle arrives really well. More of a glancing header than it. A power header, good movement though, good ball in. Wogan. Flicked on. Chased after by Warren Davis. Ooh. Puts the pressure on Linus, has to be careful. Davis, it's a goal for Drahada. He didn't give up on it and he got his reward, Warren Davis. The 18-year-old makes it Drahada 1, St. Pat's nil. Well, this is not what you would call an ideal start. Yeah, as soon as the ball goes back, Oshin, you could see it was, a, it was a hard ball to deal with for Linus. Could he have done a forced time? I'm not too sure. But fair play to Davis, he goes straight after it. His first goal in the Premier Division. It's a big one for Drogheda United. And they lead. Yeah, that ball there just has to be a bit crisper from Joe Redmond. It's a bouncing ball, it's a hard one to deal with from Lioness Bow. Turned 18 in April. And they're pressing again, and they've got the ball again. What can they do with the possession? Davis! Great save by Linus. Comes back from Marky and pulls it back towards Davis, and Levy nips in. Forrester. Great feet by Forrester. Here comes the cross from Breslin, looking for Lonergan. Couldn't just get it on target. This could be a real big moment in the game, Oshim, because Strata, the early, the early doors in the defensive unit, defensive shape, look really, really good. McClelland, it wasn't far away. Well, I thought Levy was going to strike it, but they fooled everybody. Friday night, Mulraney had a free kick from a similar position at the other end of the ground. That also just flashed wide. Redmond goes long. Forrester is running in behind. It beats Evan Weir. Here's Forrester. Lonergan is trying to catch up. He pulls it into Mark Doyle. And it's a weak effort. St. Pat's dangerous on the counter. Dangerous to that ball over the top as they showed on Friday night. They showed Levy. Levy looking for Forrester, who he does find. Lonergan's in the box, McClellan's in the box, but Forrester's hell out in the corner. He can't get out of those kind of corners, though. Rolls it back out to Levy, who's going to tee up across. Here comes the tipping cross. Lonergan can't keep it on target. It's brilliant play from St. Pat's again. That, that run that Chris Forrester's making between centre half and full back, he's done it a couple of times and he's getting in there. Pats are finding him as well this time. He gets in, recycles the ball. It's a brilliant ball in. I think Tom Lonergan's timing is just off. I think the ball is perfect. I think he just missed times to jump. And again, it's a glancing header rather than it meeting a full and flush on the forehead. See Levy's ball in here. Excellent ball in. Just a glancing header. Redmond. Curtis. Looking for McClelland. He's got Deegan with him. Good ball. Levy. Curtis. Curtis to Forrester. Forrester. McClelland. Cut out, but it might fall from Forrester. Forrester! Forrester! Oh, that is beautiful. Well, I thought, and I think everyone else thought, he was just going to pull the trigger. But he brought it on a yard or two and just stroked it home. Chris Forrester scores his sixth against Drada this season. It could be a huge, huge goal. St. Pat's won. Drada won. It was lovely, wasn't it, Oshin? As soon as this ball comes from here, you think, and put your laces through it. 
knock Chris Forrester, all the composure in the world. Here's the McClellan ball in, but here we go, when it drops to Forrester here, I was like you, Wushin, put your laces through that, see what you can get. He keeps his composure, manipulate, manipulates the ball onto his left foot, but actually then digs it out with his right foot. St. Pat's go long, looking for Lonergan. Weir cuts it out, comes to Forrester. Mulraney. Lennon. Lennon. Looking for Doyle. Good save by Wogan. That's excellent play. As soon as Jamie Lennon picks up the ball, he's looking for Mark Doyle coming in around the back. He done this in the first half, didn't quite get enough on the portraits of his header. This time he turns it to perfection. The ball is brilliant. Gets good contact on it. Marky. Again, Foley and Robinson ahead, but that's a really good and clever tackle. Gary Deegan, free kick trot it. Yellow card from Mulraney. Well, we will get another look at that. Yeah, again, I think Mulraney gets the ball, does make contact, maybe a little bit over-aggressive in winning the ball, but definitely takes the ball, I think, on my day. Referee says play on for that. Doyle, Forrester. Forrester, looking for Mulraney and finding him. Curtis is in support. Mulraney, Miley's foot was a bit high there. And the Drotter players are all, I'm sure, saying to David Dunn, he's already on a yellow card. Oh, this could be a second yellow. It is. It's a red. Mulraney, who was brought on at halftime, has been sent off. Lennon. Melia was the intended target, but it's cut out. Here's Markey. Markey. He might have a go. He doesn't. That's a brilliant goal! That's an amazing goal! What a strike from Dale Rooney! It could be the goal that sinks St. Pat's title challenge. It's an amazing goal from Dale Rooney. He caught it right on the meat. Marky, many people thought he was just going to shoot. He set up Rooney, and Rooney, with one of the best finishes, one of the best strikes you'll ever see. Unbelievable. Now, this is a brilliant, brilliant goal, though, Shane. I can't tell you the technical ability needed to be able to hit that ball. When Darren Markey initially played that pass, I thought it was the lesser of two evils because he had a boy. The right back coming around on the right wing. I thought that was a more dangerous ball when he plays that ball. I thought, lovely, we can get around, defend this. Dale Rooney hits a forced time straight into the top corner like a narrow. Brilliant, brilliant technique. What a goal. O'Brien running around the middle of the pitch. Norman, here's the cross towards Forrester. Redmond down to Forrester. Can Forrester get a shot away? Forrester still going. And Forrester dives and it's a free kick. And he gets a yellow card as well. Well, that will be worth another look. Forrester saying he was taken down. The referee, not only does he not believe him, but he thinks he dived. Forced look, O'Shane. I do think there's contact. I think Chris maybe makes a little bit much of it. It's a bit theatrical. Let's see now. That's a penalty. That's contact. That's a penalty. Yeah, I think that's a penalty, O'Shane. It is a little bit theatrical, but there is a, <laughs> there is contact there. That's possibly two penalties that St. Pat's could have had tonight. Penalties to Jake Mulraney, red card. This could be the last chance. Melia tries to flick it on. He does get there. Here's Redmond. Has to nod it back into the path of... Uh, mm, was it Forrester mm. who's going for it? That's a high boot. It was Curtis who was showing his studs. And it's a red card, and St. Pat's will finish with nine men and no points. He's a young player, I think frustration has got the better of him there. Now the foot was high, I don't think it was the most vicious tackle in the world, but when your foot is that high, you are inviting a card.
Yeah, I think you summed it up, Oshin, with the frustration. Young lad getting frustrated. Here's the bouncing ball. Joe Redmond flicks it back. That's never a red card, Oshin. It's never, ever a red card. The, the foot is high, but the studs are low. The studs are pointing yep. down. They're not, they're not pointing up. He hasn't come in with excessive force. He hasn't cleaned anybody out. There's not even any real much contact there, to be honest with you. It's a foul, but that's a very, very harsh red card from the referee. Well, it's now at the referee's discretion. That's it, Drogheda have won the match. It's an incalculably big blow to St. Pat's in the title race. They're still in it, but they're at a bit of a disadvantage now. This was the game in hand, and they haven't taken anything from it. It finishes St. Pat's 1, Drogheda United 2. A controversial game, full of incident, but in fairness, I think it's fair to say that Drogheda deserved their three points. Yeah, I think Drogheda were excellent throughout the 90-95 the minutes. As an away performance, that's the blueprint of it. You want to soak up pressure, give very little away to the opposition. And they didn't. Pats, everything Pats got, they had to work for. There's some big, big decisions in that game. The red cards, the, the penalty decisions, the, the Chris Forrester penalty in, the, in particular. Dale Rooney, I can't begin to tell you how hard of a technique that is to coming over your right shoulder, hit it flush. The ball stays the same height, the same way into the back of the net. It's a brilliant goal. I think we'll be hard stretched to find a better goal this season.